How would you like to be able to create more consistency with your chipping? Well, I'm going to show you a very simple way in which you can do that and you're going to love it. So don't go anywhere, I'll be with you very shortly. Tiffany the lady golf teacher here and welcome to today's tip. So what we're going to be looking at is a way in which we can create more consistency when we chip. Now as you can see I'm actually on the teaching tee here and the reason that I'm here is I want you to take the pressure off yourself with regards to chipping your shot at a, at a green. There's a green behind for example, that's why I'm looking over there. But I want you to take the pressure off yourself in which you have to chip to the green. I want you to just work purely on the actual technique of the, of the swing, right? So what we're going to do here is really, really easy and I'm going to keep it as simple as possible for you. What I want you to do is I want you to put, put your left foot forward. So just put your left foot forward and what we're going to do here is we're actually going to sit our right foot back. Um, so the right foot's actually going to be in line with the back of the left heel. I'll show you uh, for next week, I'll show you that angle on, on next week's tip so that you know exactly what you need to do. But I wanted to show you from this angle. What we want to do here is our left knee is going to be just slightly bent, but it's going to be really anchored, okay? The feeling that I want you to create is almost like you've got your, um, if you took your shoes off and you had a monkey grip, right? Your feet were like a monkey grip and you were gripping an actual uh, branch. I want you to get that feeling here. So I want you to really lock in and keep that left leg really secure and we're going to sit our right foot back. Now all I want you to do here is I want you to hold your hands halfway down the grip and I want you to just swing back and through. You're not trying to flick the ball up. All you're going to do here is you swing back through hold. Right now as you can see my left leg wasn't wobbly or move, it didn't move around or anything like that. Right, So I've got that stability. So in order for us to create some consistency in our chipping we need to make sure that we're very secure in that left leg. Obviously I'm right handed so that's why I'm demonstrating that. If you're a left handed golfer it would be your right leg. But just make sure it's nice and stable with that left leg back and through action and just allow the ball to pop off the club face okay so I hope you enjoyed that I will show you in next week's tip the back angle from it as well so you can actually get your foot positioning right so you can really understand what you need to do if you can do me a favor leave a comment down below love to hear what value you got out of today's tip and uh, if you're putting it into action remember do it go and do it on a, a teaching tee or a practice tee somewhere don't go and do it on the green yet because I want you to work on actually getting the consistency from the action so have an awesome day and remember tee it high let it fly see you soon bye bye